morning everybody welcome how are you doing um great to have everybody here i'm excited to share with you this morning it's the flow class with a little bit of core work so why we focus on the core is so that to make sure that it's strengthened the spine so when we a lot of the times when we think about the core we just think about the belly but in actual fact it's the side it's the back the low back into the pelvic floor so just we'll do as much as you can do as little as you can always remember that if you try one little bit, 1%, you get better. So give yourself permission to be a beginner. Give yourself permission this morning to listen to your body today because we're constantly changing. So you can't expect to compare yourself to yesterday. You just have to do what is, what's happening in your body today. So just paying attention to that and seeing how you feel. So we're going to go... Good morning, everybody. Welcome. I'm just getting rid of my dog because he's loves on the mat. If anybody has any puppies or dogs or cats, they seem to get attracted to them. So hopefully he'll stay out of my way. Um, it's great to have you here this morning, Friday morning. Lovely, beautiful blue sky. Um, this morning we're going to focus on a little bit of a flow class with some core work. So a lot of the times when we think about the core, we think about just the front part of the belly. But in actual fact, it's our sides, it's our back, it's coming all the way into the pelvis. So that sometimes when we have a weak core, we can have a weak low back. So a lot of the yoga moves help strengthen the entire body top to toe. So we have a little bit more emphasis on the core today, but as always, it's not about doing it perfectly. It's about trying it. So being open enough to try and see what your body can do today. Don't compare it to what it could do yesterday, because as in life, every day is different. So just seeing how your body is in today, tapping into the body and listening to the breath instantly calms and soothes the central nervous system which is probably what i need after running around trying to get my dog off the floor <laughs> so we're going to start just in a child's pose this morning connecting to the breath remembering that in all these forward folds that we can do them at any time they soothe us just connecting to that breath so we'll come to the back of the mat or wherever you're at in your in your house um, in your kitchen so toes together knees nice and wide apart you're going to just rest your forehead on the floor and just check in with how you are today. You don't have to force the breath here, just inhale and exhale. Setting your intention for class to feel good in your body, to connect to your breath. Always remembering you're not here to punish your body for something you ate. You're here to reward it with this functional movement. So changing how you look at things, changing how you feel about your body, just being present, being at home in your body. We don't have to exercise or move or do fitness to get anywhere. We just have to be here, present on the mat. So take now we're going to do three big, deep connecting breaths. Take a nice deep inhale. Feel the lungs expand. Exhale, open your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. And one more here. Inhale. And exhale. You're going to come forward into your tabletop position with your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. We're going to continue with that connecting breath with some cat cows. So take a nice deep inhale, look up towards the ceiling, drop the belly. Exhale, push the floor away from you, tucking your chin to your chest. Inhale, look up, drop the belly. Exhale, push the floor away from you, tucking your chin to your chest. Hollow out that space between your shoulders. Inhale, look up, drop the belly. I heard it described one time as imagine you have a small child on your low back here. So just drop the belly. Exhale, push the floor away from you. Hollow up that space. You're like that frightened cat. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to start off continuing with that spinal articulation. We're going to inhale and lift the right leg high and the left arm. So right, left elbow to right knee. You might see the inhale on your exhale, elbow to your knee, rounding the stomach. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze the core. Inhale, exhale. One more here, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, 
Exhale. Coming back into that tabletop position again, we're going to do it on the left side. So left leg lift up. So your two hips are level. You're not letting your ribs pop out. You're engaging your core. Right arm up in front of your spine is long. Your stomach is in. Take a nice deep inhale here. On your exhale, elbow to your knee. Inhale. Exhale. Round the spine. Inhale. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale. Reach. Inhale. Exhale. And one more here. Inhale. Exhale. So from here, we're going to come into our downward facing dog. So remember with the downward facing dog, you're spreading your fingertips out. Most of the weight's going between your thumb and index fingers. So you're not sinking into your joints. You might even keep a micro bend. You're not locking out your elbows. A micro bend in your elbows so that you're using your biceps just to hold you up. You're going to curl your toes and push your hips back and up towards the ceiling. So you can come even into your tippy toes here and just press down. Tippy toes and press down. Looking towards your stomach or your thighs, just find your stillness right here now. Connecting to your breath. Contracting your thighs, heels as close to the floor, hips up. Stomach is in and breathe. Connect to that breath. Relax your shoulders out of your ears. Connect to your body. And just hold it in stillness. Feel the body fire up. Getting that oxygenated neutral rich blood flushing through the body. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, tucking the knee to your nose. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, you're going to hold it here, right elbow on the knee, and you're going to move side to side, so back and forth. So tick tock here, right and left. Feel the core fire up. Right and left for five, four, three, two, and one. You want to inhale that left, right leg back up, bring it all the way down to the floor and do the left side. So inhale, lift your left leg high, exhale, left knee to left elbow. Or, yeah, inhale, left leg lift high, exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg lift high, exhale, knee to nose. I forgot that one first time. Inhale, lift your right leg, left leg high. We're going to come hold it on the left elbow and take it up, back side to side. Stomach is in. You can come onto your knee if you need to for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift that left leg up high and bring it all the way down. We're going to do some down dogs to some planks. So inhale, exhale, pour forward into your high plank and hold. Elbows under your shoulders, stomach is in. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, push yourself back in. Inhale, pour forward into your high plank. So you're hollowing out the space between your shoulder blades, engaging your core, contracting your thighs, micro bending those elbows, stomach is in. Push back to your down facing dog. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, pour forward. Connect to your breath, micro bend those elbows, engage the core. Inhale, exhale. Back to downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Pour forward. Hold it here. Contract your thighs. Engage your core. Knees if you need them. Toes if you don't. Breathe here. Exhale. Downward facing dog. We've got one more here. Take a nice deep inhale. Use your breath as fuel. Exhale. Pour forward into your high plank. Wrists are under your shoulders. Engage your quads. Contract your thighs. I want that space between your shoulder blades. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale. Hips back and up. So just pedal up your feet here, right and left. Right and left. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg lift high. Exhale. Step your right foot forward. We're going to work the low belly here, engaging the core. So hands are to the floor. You're going to bring your left elbow to tap your right hand. So your left elbow, your left foot. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Tap, your left heel, tap. Stomach is in, here we go guys. Breathe here. Stomach in for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that left hand down and just lift that right arm up, get that lovely twist. Inhale and exhale. Breathe here, hold it and slowly, Come all the way back up. You're going to come forward into your tree pose. So for your tree pose, it's a lot of core work. I'm going to face you here. You're going to bring your foot either to your shin, opening up your hips to your calf, or all the way up on your inner thigh. 
contracting the thigh. Two hips in one line, use your core, shoulders over your hips, your stomach goes in. So you're using your stabilizer muscles to keep you up. Engage that core, press the heel into the thigh, hands to heart center, connect to your breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're gonna slowly push back, release your foot down, and I'm gonna turn away here. We're gonna come into our warrior three pose. So hands to heart center, relax your shoulders. Again, you're recruiting your core muscles. Stomach is in, you're trying to keep your two hips in one line, micro bend in your right knee. Inhale, relax your shoulders down your back. Tighten up that core a little bit more. You're not in a rush here. Exhale. Just stay here with me. Inhale. Exhale. Hold it. Breathe. And slowly lower your left leg down. Bring a reverse. Just staying right here, getting it nice. Leg back, looking up towards the ceiling. Breathe. We're opening up the front side of the body. And on your exhale, we'll come into your warrior two. So your left foot is flat, your knee and ankle is in one line on your right. Relax your shoulders down your back, so the stretch in opposite directions. Contracting your left thigh, stomach is in. We're going to do an extended side angle. So take a nice deep inhale on your exhale. You can rest your right hand on your right chin and just reach here. So hold it here, connect to the breath, feel that stretch. So you're working the obliques here as well, stomach is in. So we're going to add this into a flow. So take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, reverse. So keeping that right knee bent, inhale, reach, extend the side angle, exhale, reverse, inhale, exhale, inhale, stomach is in, exhale, inhale, reach, exhale, connect to your breath, inhale, exhale, one more here, inhale, Exhale, you're going to hold in your reverse warrior. And now you're going to windmill your hands down. Step your, you're in your high plank to your low plank. Knees if you need them. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back and up. Downward facing dog. So just take three breaths here. So you're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale, relax your shoulders out of your ears. Exhale. One more here, inhale. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg lift high. Exhale, step your left foot forward. You're going to lift that right arm up, left arm up towards the ceiling, get that nice twist here. Slowly bring the arm down. And now we're going to bring your right toes to your left hand. So working the low belly, so your right heel. And squeeze, not your elbow. <laughs> Stomach is in. Don't take it too seriously, guys. Please don't take me too seriously. Stomach is in, breathe, inhale, exhale. So work in the lower part of the core for five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to slowly look forward and rise up. And we're gonna come into our tree pose on this side. So again, you might be here, you're, you might have your leg on your calf, or you're all the way up on your thigh. Breathe here, press the heel in. Stomach is in, so working the core nice and tight, hands to heart center. So if you feel like you're using, you're sticking your bum out, then you just go a little bit less and bring your foot to your calf or all the way down onto your shin. So it's always the form over the depth. Connecting to your breath, recruiting those muscles. Nice deep inhale, exhale, relax your shoulders. Tighten up the core, inhale, exhale. One more here, inhale. And on your exhale, we're going to come into our warrior three. So just step that right left, right leg up. Two hips in one line, suck your stomach and relax your shoulders. And breathe. Engage your core. A lot of core work here. Those stabilizing muscles are activating. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Now slowly come down as you fall. And in your lunge. And you're going to do that little reverse here. Connect to it. I'm going to come into our warrior two on this side. So bend into that knee. I'm going to, so I won't have my, watch your face. I'm going to turn around. Left knee down. Contract your thigh. Bring more weight into your heels. Arms are up to your warrior position. Reach them in long. Engage the core. Spine is in the center of the body. Take a nice deep inhale. We're going to do that extended warrior. L left elbow to knee and reach the arm across. Feel that fantastic stretch all along the right side of the body. 
Bend a little bit more into that left knee, getting into your hip. Stomach is in. Now we're going to do that flow. Inhale. Keep that knee bent. Exhale, reverse. Nice and controlled. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Good feel. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Work from the side body. Working into the obliques. Exhale. Nice and controlled. We get them sneakily in. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. On that exhale, you're going to hold it here in your reverse. And we're going to windmill the hands down to your high plank, your low plank. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Hips back and up. Downward facing dog. So take a few breaths here. Just relaxing your shoulders. Connect into your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to at any stage, you can come to your child's pose position. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift your right leg high. Exhale. Knee to nose. Inhale. Right leg lift high. Exhale. Right knee to right left elbow. And you're going to push that through into your fallen triangle. So your left foot comes flat. And you're here, stomach is in. So your right leg is out, contract your right left thigh. And hold it here, and we're gonna do some hip dips. For five, four, three, two, one. Left hand down, right leg back. We're gonna come into our high to low. High plank, you can come onto your knees if you need to. Low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, if that feels good for you. Exhale, hips back and up. Downward facing dog. We'll do that on the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, left knee to left nose. Rounding the spine. Inhale, left leg lift high. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. And then just bring that foot through. Your right foot is your right foot is flat. Left arm up towards the ceiling. Engaging your core here. Reach up. And you're going to pulse it out for five, four, three. We're not here for too long. Two and one. Right hand to the mat, left leg back. You're in your high plank. Knees if you need them, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good for you, relax your shoulders. One more, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna do that again. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, round the spine, each nose. Inhale, right leg lift high. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, and you come through with that leg. Flip over your left foot flat. Reach up here to your extended side angle. And smile, take a breath again. We're gonna pulse it out for five, four, three, you can do it, two, one. Bring your left hand down, right leg back, high plank, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back and up. Downward facing dog. So taking that variation is never less if you need to use your knees. It's more because you're just letting your body develop that strength in time. Left side. Inhale, left leg lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg lift up. Exhale, knee to the right elbow and just push that foot through. Bring your right foot flat to the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pulse it out for five. Working the waistline, four, three, two, one. Bring your right hand down to the mat, bring your left leg back. You're in your high plank, knees if you need them. Low plank, curl your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Good for you, take a breath in and a breath out. Connecting to your breath, connecting to your body. Breathe here, hold it. And slowly come down onto your knees into child's pose. So toes together, knees nice and wide apart, forehead on the floor. Just let your body realign, readjust, connect the breath. Appreciate what it has done so far. Give yourself that mental pep talk. You can stay with me for the rest of the time. Building up that strength, that resilience, that inner dialogue is massive. 
So telling yourself you can, telling yourself you get to do this with your body this morning. Breathe here, hold it, and slowly come up. We're going to make our way onto our side here for some side work. So we're going to do some side planks. So you can do it here, your elbows under your shoulder, to have someone lie, stomach's in. You can do it from here, you can do it from here, or you can bring your knees and do it from here. Just finding your stillness, connecting to your breath. So I feel like I'm always with my head down. So we we'll find whatever we're, we're in, breathe here, or you're here. Elbow under your shoulder, your stomach is in, your hips are up. So just maybe close your eyes and connect inwards. Telling yourself you can't. Keep the hips up, keep the stomach in. Contract your thighs, engage your core, and reach up. Imagine I've got a hold of, come into your house, and I've got a hold of your left hand, and I'm pulling you up towards the ceiling, so no sinking down. Strengthen the side body, finding the stillness. Inhale, exhale. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. What I want you to do now is come, bring your left leg, your right leg back. You're gonna come onto your, up onto your full length here. So your arm, your wrist is under your shoulder. Watch that alignment. Your spine is long. You're gonna reach long. Take a nice deep inhale on your exhale, elbow to your knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale. For five, squeeze. Four, breathe. Three, you can do it. Two, and one. Now we're gonna do the other side. Feel your left elbow under your shoulder. Take whatever variation works best for you. Maybe you're on your knees, stomach is in, shoulders and hips are in one line, or you're here, or you've that foot forward. So reach up, find your stillness and connect your breath. Connect your body, maybe take a smile, inhale, exhale. So we're always remembering we're putting this good stress on the body and you connect your heart rate and the heart rate should be up a little bit. So that if you're in a stressful situation outside, off your mat, you know to breathe and it instantly soothes your central nervous system. Hips up, stomach in, I'm reaching, I've got your fingertips and pulling you up for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come down, that left foot stays kind of at an angle. Your right wrist, your left wrist, oh my God, my right minute. I do this all the time. Your wrist is under your shoulder, stomach is in. I need to figure out how to reach forward, elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale. I don't mean to confuse you, I really don't. Reach and pull. Stomach is in, tighten it up. Reach and pull for five, four, three, squeeze the glutes, two, and one. Good for you. We're coming down onto the floor. We're gonna do some core work. So what I'm gonna start off with here is you're gonna bring your fingertips in a triangle underneath your low back, your stomach is in. We're gonna reach the legs up towards the ceiling and you're gonna slowly let your right leg down and come back up, left leg down and come back up. Tuck me in your chin to your chest or if you want to add on to it here a little bit, you can lift your head up or if you feel fine with your low back staying on the mat, you can bring your hands out to the side of the body. Nice and controlled, reach up, pull down. Inhale and exhale. If this becomes too much, you can bend the knees Right here, nice and controlled. There's no rush. Feel it, connect to the breath, connect to the body, and squeeze. For five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna bend the knee slightly. This time you're gonna reach in here, lengthening through, tucking in your chin to your chest. Squeeze, inhale, Exhale, tight the core. You can keep your head on the mat if that feels better for you. Reach and breathe. Lengthen through, trying to get your knee past your hip, your stomach is in. Tightening your core, engaging your pelvic floor. It's all part of the core. Squeeze and breathe. For five, four, three, two, and one. What we're gonna do next is you wanna interlace your fingers. You're gonna start with your legs up, you're gonna go to the left and bring your right leg down. Then come to the right and bring your left leg down. Reach across, exhale. Again, if this is too much, you can bend the knees. Exhale, breathe and squeeze. You can do this, breathe. 
and squeeze, tightening up the core to strengthen the muscles, wrapping the muscles around the spine. Exhale, feel it. Notice your body getting stronger. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, and one. Good for you. Take a nice deep inhale, maybe a full body stretch here. And an exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to push yourself up. Or grab the back knees and roll up. We're going to come into our boat pose. So as always, there's a few recommendations for your boat pose and always a few variations. So you can grab the back knees, chest up, pull in here. Relax your shoulders down your back. Stomach is in, spine is long. You're not slouching and you're not leaning back too far. You're not leaning back in a rounded spine. So you can stay right here, relax your shoulders, or you can try challenging yourself this morning and bring your legs up and keeping the arms here. So you're going to feel it underneath your shoulder blades as well as your core. You're working into your hip flexors too. Stomach is in. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. You can try and release your pants. So just challenging the body. If you feel like you're going to sit down around the spine, lift yourself back up again. So always with that correct form. Keep the chest up, spine long. You might want to try and bring your legs straight. When I do that, I find that I hunch. So I'm just going to keep them in the bend and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Starting to shake, starting to quake. That's all good. That's where we're challenging the body. That's where we're changing the body. So stay with me here. I know I'm shaking. Breathe here. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale. And one more. Inhale, exhale. But we have one more breath. You can do it. Stay here. Breathe. Challenge in the body. Challenge in the mind. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly release out. You're going to bring the soles of the feet together. And pour forward, tucking your chin to your chest. Let those knees hang out. Just connect to your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release that tension in the body. Forward folds. Soothe your central nervous system. Put that in your neck hang down. <clears throat> we think at the moment we all can use any kind of tools in our tool belt to help us. So along with the physical activity, where you increase the positive endorphins to your brain, your serotonin, your dopamine, your melatonin, your oxytocin, this also soothes and you feel better. Just relax the head down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, relax your shoulders. Can you relax your forehead? Maybe close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly release out. We're going to just do some prone positions and we're going to come onto our stomach just to, to get a nice stretch. So we're going to come into our sphinx pose. So your elbows into your shoulders, your palms are flat. Your spine is long. You've got a compression in the low back. Slight tuck into your chin, to your chest. So you're not in here. Just a slight when you're not looking up. Just right here for now. Relax your shoulders, feel the compression in your lower back, and let this be okay. Very powerful posture, stimulating the lower spine, getting that nutrient rich blood flushing through the body, eliminating free radicals, scar tissue, and debris. Connect to your breath. Inhale and exhale. So you're tricking your brain to stay present on your mat, not going over your to do list. If you do, that's okay, it's normal. Just come back into it. It's like training your brain, training your puppy. He's obviously being well behaved right now to just be present. Moment to moment awareness. So only this moment we can control. Inhale, exhale. Breathe here, feel that nice compression. If this seems too much for you, even you can come down into a crocodile and just cross your hands. You're here. Now we're just gonna add on to that, open up your legs a little bit wider. You're going to tend to your fingertips, so tend them up, and push your arms up and look up. Feel that big, big compression at the front side, stretch the body. Feel the compression on the low spine. Nudging any misalignments in. Relax your shoulders. Feel that fantastic stretch. Breathe here, getting that compression to the neck. Hold it. And slowly lower down. So now we're in our Savasana. <clears throat> if you like to do it on your belly this morning, please do so you can 
just crisscross your forehead on your forearms and rest your forehead on your forearms. If that doesn't feel good, if you don't like lying on your belly, please turn around and lie on your back. And just allow yourself this time to connect, to close your eyes and breathe. We might start with our right hand on our belly, our left hand on our heart. Again, it's one of those tools to soothe the body. Inhale, let your belly rise. Exhale, let your belly fall. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You did a good thing for each day. Taking care of yourself. Just stay right here. I'm going to sit up. Stay lying on your mat, on your belly, or on your back. And just allow yourself to completely relax. I'd like you to think of one thing you're grateful for, or one person you're grateful for. Maybe something that makes you smile. It might be your puppy. That brings you a little bit of joy. So always keeping in mind that what you appreciate, appreciates. So keep it simple. Just one thing. You're training your brain. Have patience with it. Your, your negative inner critic is going to tell you that one's cracked. But I promise you, if you do it consistently, it helps change your life for the good. Small, little things to be grateful for. Maybe somebody made you a cup of coffee this morning with somebody in your life. Or maybe you're alone and you're able to Skype somebody later on or Zoom somebody later on. Or talk to that friend. Talk to that friend. Just connect to your breath here. I'm going to read a poem. I think it's very apt for the moment. It's called The Air That Moves You. We are always in transition, stretching, reaching, growing at our edges. One day we will wake up and reveal the truth, that none of this is permanent, all is temporary, and the time for forgiveness has always been now. So move through your blocking, release what keeps you tethered to the ground, step out of comparison and open your palms to your own unique, brilliant experience, the one that is unfolding just for you, because it is. For it's in the unknown we find a deeper understanding. We come alive in the mystery of it all. So be in your unique body. Remember that comparison is the thief of joy, so you do you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Do you get out and enjoy this beautiful weather? And I will look forward to seeing you on Monday. If you have any requests, if you have anything in mind that you'd really like to have me do here, please just send me a message or a comment and um, I'll be happy to try and add it in. Again, have a great weekend. Big hugs. Keep smiling. See you later.